what were you thinking when you selected this movie? Because it's quite interesting as I was watching this movie. No, the it was, timing. Yeah, no, it was, I, I just pulled it and that's what won. <laughs> really? <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reaction videos. I'm Corbin. I'm a grandpa. Yeah. And he follows <laughs> Instagram. Turn the music on. Turn the music on. Turn the camera 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 on. Turn the Exciting. Follow us on, uh, well, especially him because he's the one posting about it. Yeah, I'm posting about <laughs> it all over the place. Um, but, anyways, today we were reacting, I mean, uh, reviewing the Hindi film Badai Ho, which was, I think, one of the first trailers we reacted. It was really early. It on. was right as we were getting acquainted yeah. with him. I think and it was after we had watched Andahanda. Yes, but we hadn't yet seen, if I'm remembering correctly, we had seen Andahanda Han, but we hadn't yet seen him when we went to the theaters and saw him as the cop. Yeah, in, in, in uh, Article 15. Article 15, Article 15. Yeah. Article, yeah, we hadn't seen that yet. This was pretty early on. Uh, but it's a... Uh... A man is embarrassed when he finds out his mother's pregnant. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> that sounds pretty I accurate. don't know that that's how they pitched it to the studios, but no. That's accurate. And it's called a, a comedy drama. I call it a family drama with some comedy. comedy. I agree. A yeah, family that's, drama with comedy. I would say more family drama with some comedy. I agree. Um, but directed by, say his name? Directed by Amit Ravindranath Sharma. Who... Tavar. Who did, uh, Tavar. did he also do Tavar? He did Tavar? With, uh... Oh no, that, I'm thinking of something different. Uh, Tavar is with, um... He did direct that, but it, that's with Manoj and, uh... And Arjun Kapoor. And Arjun Kapoor. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was, uh, Telavar with, uh... Oh, uh, you're yeah, fine. no. Uh, but let's see, uh, dude, dude, starring Ayushman Karana uh, and Nina Gupta, Nina Gupta and Gajraj Rao and Sanya Malhotra. Yeah, Sanya Malhotra. Uh, where do we? And Sureka Secret. Sureka Secret. I have a lot to say. Okay, cool. About but anyways, 100% spoiler review is yeah. how we like to do it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back if you don't want to be spoiled. If you like to be spoiled, you're a naughty little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, Rick has a paragraph. So I have a paragraph. Here we go. So here's my paragraph. A really nice and enjoyable family movie discussing important subject matter with strong acting all around, but most especially strong from the supporting actors portraying the mom, the dad, and especially grandma. <laughs> No, uh, nothing for the film festival circuit or awards, but not everything has to be. Sometimes you just need to watch a really good movie, and this is a really good movie. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I have mixed about the film as a whole, uh, but I enjoyed it. Um, there were certain things that we could talk about that I was like, what? what right. What are you talking about? But I did really enjoy the message of the film. Well, and it was extraordinarily applicable for me. I can't yeah. disassociate my current experience and the fact that they're having a little girl. Yeah. Uh, and the age of people having babies and everything. So it, it, it really was quite apropos for me. Um, but yeah, the, um, the whole message of, you know, ageism and how people treat people that have yes. uh, babies when they're older, which is not just an India thing, but this was holding a mirror up to India. Correct. To everybody Correct. saying this is how you treat people that are having sex in a marriage and happen to get pregnant at a certain age. Um, and But it's it, it happens here in America too. If a, if a 50, 60 year old person gets pregnant, oh, there's, there's stairs. There's stairs and there's stairs. I mean, there's not as much as there used to be. If it, like, especially in old America, it used to be like a, a taboo, like yeah. really? Kind of right. like it was in here. But now it's like, you know, empowerment. And you're like, okay, what the, why, do you, why are you complaining? They have a baby. What? Exactly. I think there was a, a prominent, so it was Janet Jackson, right? Didn't she just give birth just recently? And she's, I think you're correct. Yeah, she's 60? 50. Yeah. Um, so glad that's changing, but that was probably my favorite thing about it. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little funnier, just from the trailer, mm -hmm. from what I remember. Yeah. Um, but then I, when I found out for the first, you know, 15, 30 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm probably not going to be busting out. Right, this isn't going to be a deli belly. And so that's why I described the film more as a family drama with some comedy. Yep. More than a, dra a, fa a family comedy. Because unless... About a family dramedy, I could go that far. Unless 
there's a bunch of cultural stuff we missed. Right. Which was funny. It's kind of like it story. happens. <laughs> yeah. Certain cultural things are funny to other people, but that was probably my favorite thing, along with the performances as well. Yeah. Um, I thought it probably could have been shorter as well. Yeah. The runtime didn't bother me. Probably about 20 to 25 minutes shorter. Okay. But that's about it. Other than that, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, there was some stuff we could talk about that I, I just didn't understand, like why she apologized, like why he apologized to the mom. <laughs> didn't understand that at all. <laughs> I, I, think, <laughs> I think I do. Yeah. I, um, I don't understand it in terms of American culture. Yeah. That wouldn't happen or be, or, or even be she was encouraged. Being a dick! Right. <laughs> she deserved. Oh, my anyways. <laughs> no, I think it has to do with the fact that it, it, it's a cultural <laughs> thing and the, there is a, based on what we understand, and we in no way consider ourselves to be experts in any way, shape, or form about Indian culture yet. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of years before we can begin to comprehend it. Never fully will, because we can't empathize. We didn't yeah. grow up in India. Yeah. We don't have Indian family. We'll never fully empathize with the, the things that are cultural and relational. Yeah. Um, and we don't have the same level of... Uh, we, we don't understand two things that are immediate in my mind. One, the association of marriage mm. and family and that it isn't just the uniting of two individuals who love each other we come from a country where the individual is supreme everybody has their personal rights and their personal freedoms mm -hmm. my understanding and it's represented in the film and what i've heard about different things and why marriage can be such a problematic thing is that it's viewed as a familial event not a romantic event first and not a relational event it's familial yeah. and who you marry is going to have a direct impact on the family's reputation, standing, all of the above. Right or wrong, I'm just yeah. saying it's that aspect to there. And then the apology part of it is also this um, expectation of respect and care for parents, which we have respect and care for the elderly, mm -hmm. but we don't have... Well, that's being a dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we'll respect you, but if you're not respecting me, there's no more reason for me to respect you if you're not well, respecting me. Like, example, here in America, it's considered a standard rite of passage and a cultural norm mm -hmm. for a child to grow up and then leave the home and go live their life. Yeah. And then maybe, not, not an expectation, yeah. maybe when the parents are in the twilight of their life, we're talking they've reached their late 70s, yeah. 80s, 90s, and yeah. they're going to be passing away soon, yeah. there's a familial expectation to care for your parent. Yeah. Not... In India, yeah, you you're expected to be caring for your parent all of your adult life. Yeah. And if you don't, it's shameful. Yeah, and that's just one thing. I, I, I didn't bother me like in terms of like the film. I was like, okay, obviously it's a culture thing. It's just something that bothered me in terms of I think you shouldn't have apologized. I right. think you're going to be like, okay, I'm sorry that I might have raised my voice at you, but I'm not going to apologize for defending my family. You were being an asshole. Right. That's the apology I would have given. Right. <laughs> Technically not an apology, but if that's what they wanted to keep up the relationship, whatever. But we could talk about the uh, performances oh, as let's, well. Please do. Uh, uh, Ish Makrata, I thought did well. He's uh, always good. Yeah, I thought. He, but this is what well, I think wasn't a performance that he was going to shine in. Yeah, it's not film uh, festival because it's not even a character role. He's no. playing more the straight man, like the the person that things happen to that. You react and you're supposed to yep. sympathize with, even though I didn't sympathize with him because I was. Yeah, no, at the very beginning, yeah. when he's going through what he's going through, yeah. I'm irritated with his character, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm like, yeah. come on, stop being such a juvenile. When she called him that, you're yeah. being a juvenile. I'm like, that's basically everybody seriously. in the film. But. I know. <laughs> but I was, I had to, you know, remember yeah. this is the way the character's written, and I yeah. promise you, knowing his films, there's gonna be, this guy's gonna come full circle, he's gonna have a character arc. Yeah, I, yeah. I, that's one of the things I really, really enjoyed is that they were basically holding a mirror up to India and being, this is, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. Change. <laughs> right. <laughs> kind of like a, some of Amir Khan's films do. They, they have yeah. this message good comparison. against society. Very good comparison. And I, uh, I enjoyed that uh, about this film. The people that I really thought shined, just like you said, uh, one, I thought this was our friend from Kahani for a second, uh, the Bengali. Oh, Bob. yeah, no, who played I thought, Bob? I thought it Very was similar face. Yeah, we have a similar face, but we've seen no. him before as well. Uh, Televar with, with Irfan, we saw him there. Uh, yeah. I think we've seen him in a few other things. He did really, really well. He had a character arc that I thought we were going to hate him in the beginning because mm -hmm. remember he wasn't going to tip the guy. Yeah. Uh, but then he totally changed. He became like us after he was like, she didn't want to get an abortion, right? Basically after that moment, 
he became almost a, a sweet father, very much, uh, and and very caring. I, you know, there's cultural things where I'm like, I'm sick of your wife, right? It's the grandmother. Uh, it's the, I know, <laughs> it's like, but then, well, but you know, but I was like, whatever. I cultural, know, whatever. Okay, yeah, because culturally in America, it uh, would be it's basic. mom, yeah. wife, husband, husband defend the wife against the mom. against mom. Yeah, it isn't. It isn't. Mom is not always right. In fact, if once mom, you become married, your significant other is the most important person. One hundred percent. That's American yeah. culture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, at least I guess it should be, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah. So there were certain times where I wish he would have stuck up, but I, I, I liked his character arc. He became a really sweet, kind. He was really excited after yeah. a while. He, he really got into it. I um, love the depiction as well. One of my favorite things about the film, and what I loved about the two actors who portrayed them so believably, was from the get go. The fact that here's a couple who's been married for decades and they're still in love with each other. That night, the thunder was, you know, he was reading her poetry <laughs> and the thunder's going, which bids for the, the romantic. Yeah. And then later on, I loved when she was dressed up and came downstairs and he saw her mm -hmm. and how here he is after years, she's still his sweetheart and he's still even more. I, I'm, a big, I'm a big advocate for something. I, this whole idea of falling out of love to me is, I, I, I always liken it this way with when I talk to Indrani. Um, mm -hmm. It's I, I view it as this. Um, it's I call it forever falling, mm -hmm. and it's it's every day. The more I get to know her, and the more I'm falling more in love, and it's deepening and it's widening. Mm -hmm. And I saw that in their relationship. Yeah. I saw the deepening and the widening with experience in life and how they were even more in love now than ever before. Yeah. The grandma. Yeah. She she had a great oh, arc too. Okay. I, I didn't expect that at the end. A lot of the times uh -huh. we see people portray someone who is elderly mm -hmm. and they get somebody who looks elderly and the acting's fine. Mm -hmm. Not really good. Mm -hmm. I was, of everybody in the cast, that lady impressed me the most. I was like, who is that lady? She's gotta have a lot of experience. I bet she's theater trained. Uh, I bet her real personality is very different from this character. Is that the case? That is the case. Is that? Yeah, Johnny sent me a picture of her when she started acting. Was she in Dev D? When she was a much younger woman and she was a strikingly pretty young woman. We saw her in Dev D. Oh, I haven't looked at her resume. Okay. I just know from Indrani, she told me, yeah, all three of those people, the parents and the grandma, are very experienced actors. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. tell but that from them. She, for my, I just thought yeah, she had a that great heart because of the, she also, just like the son, I thought we were going to hate her the full movie because, right. you know, she was being an asshole. Yeah, I thought the, she was going to be the antagonist. To, to the wife, yeah. and, you know, she, she, she was just yelling at people, and, and she was yelling at her son, and the son wasn't sticking up for her, but then... She then had that whole rant against the other people in the marriage when she was like, she's always been there for me. And right. she had that moment. Yeah, of, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was, she had a great, that her whole, that whole monologue she gave during that scene, I thought was really great. And I thought she did really well as well. Yeah. I liked her a lot, uh, as well as the wife. It was hard. I mean, for my own, and I know you're, you are right on the same page with me, <sighs> to see people being, to, to see that mom and dad mm -hmm. by both the sons and the son especially, and uh, you know, by uh, Ayushman, and the mom, the grandma, to see a happily married couple mm -hmm. being shamed for having an active sex life. Yeah, yeah, that was the funniest thing. Come on, and it was a great line guy uh, who also I thought did a great job, and I'd like to see more from her, um, Sanya uh, Malhotra. Yeah, the, she was the girlfriend. Ayushman's girlfriend. Yeah. yeah, I thought she did great. Me too. One, uh, she's a great look as well. Uh, yeah, um, totally so, agree. Um, I'd like to see more from her. I yep. thought she did a really good job. Uh, apparently, fell in dangle. Or was dangle. she one of the girls? The young girls? Was she one of the wrestling no, sisters? No, 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 no. Because dangle. Oh, I guess it when maybe we got, when they got older, she could have been. Yeah, not the young ones, yeah, but yeah, the yeah. actual competing older ones. Maybe she was. Uh, but anyways, because uh, if she was, she did great in there as well. Yeah. Um, but I thought she did great. But Me too. That, that whole line, she was like, okay, let's say we get married. Right. You think we're just going to stop having sex when we get to do 50? Right, exactly. Because if so, I don't want a part of this. Yes. And that's, that's the whole, st obviously, stigma. Obviously, you don't want to think about your grandparents having sex. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't want to think about anybody in your family having sex. That's not a picture you want to have. But you know it happens. And you don't want to discourage a happy marriage from heck no <laughs> from being happy together. Yeah, it makes no sense. No, I've uh, never... but it's a stigma all over the world. It Not really is. 
And I don't, I don't understand, and I, we were talking about this even before we started filming about you know, the, the obliterating stereotypes, because I remember when I was a little boy, I thought when I became a grandpa, I was gonna be what I saw grandpas to be when I was a little boy, yeah. which were, they were in the twilight of their life, they were sitting in a chair, smoking a pipe, they were overweight, they couldn't do the things they used to do physically, they're probably not doing the vocation they used to do, and their job is to play around with the grandkids all the time, and then in about 10, 15 years, they'll be dead. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just playing in the pool yesterday, mm -hmm. day after Evie was born, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking to myself, I don't feel much different, and I do virtually everything I've done physically since I was 15. Now I'm blessed with great health, but sadly, Indian people, American people, all over the world, there are folks who when they hit 50, they're like, well, I guess I'm gonna die soon, and I've never understood it. Yeah, so it's like, why wouldn't you be thinking about you're at 50, why aren't you thinking about the fact that you still are gonna have decades of vibrant life ahead of you, including your sex life, yeah. and that you could have had a generation of kids that fully grow up, and then you might have a surprise, or you might intentionally, someone gets widowed and gets remarried, or they get divorced and remarried, and then they have another round of children. Mm -hmm. That's, what's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> So it, it's still a stigma even here, especially it if is. you have older kids as well, and then you you end up getting pregnant when you're older. Right. Because now, for some reason, obviously people are concerned with the kids having to uh, relate to the younger yeah, sibling. Relate to the younger sibling, or if like they're at marrying age and having kids of their own. They're like, okay, so they're going to have a brother who's the same age as their Oh, yeah. Kid. And so it's a big stigma, not just in India. This was just obviously displaying the India Correct. side of it. But it happens everywhere. It happens here in America. It happens, happens everywhere. everywhere. And I would say here, I think you'd agree with me, mm -hmm. the biggest um, stereotype stigma is that when a woman gets pregnant over 40, the primary concern that anybody has is health. Oh, yeah. It is. It's, obviously it's just the health. It's just the way women's bodies are made. Correct. It's it's actually more difficult. I think Steph was telling me at the over the age of forty, you're high it's risk. High risk. It's uh, just it's just the nature of your body. Usually, in at least in America, you'll be scheduled a C-section. Correct. Not because like they you'll... don't want to put your body through the strain. Through the strain. Correct. Um, so you know there's legitimate concerns, but the fact that obviously and it wasn't just the kids that were that were upset or the the grandmother that was upset. It was the other families. Like other how family. would this look on the family? Which I is know. something that's completely foreign to us here. We're like, who? I don't give a f how people view you. Go f yourself. Those words. <laughs> what will people think? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, but you know, to a certain extent, because there are things that we do incorporate. Where we're like, wow, I, you know, what will? Example. Mm -hmm. When Andrani and I first started expressing our love for each other, mm -hmm. the big thing in our minds and the biggest concern we both had and then Johnny especially was are, are Ashley, Alexis and Micah going to be okay mm -hmm. with it? Mm -hmm. What will those people think? Mm -hmm. Everybody else. Oh yeah. Who and cares? Th that's, that's immediate family who are close to a situation like that and it's a situation of your life. That's the, I understand that. The current American metropolis mind of thinking is that. Correct. Uh, there's different ones. It, the Hispanic community is, is actually more similar to the to Indian, Indian community. In many respects. Uh, they're very close-knit and it's all family, family, family. I don't think it's as much, but it is very close-knit. And then the close South families as well. Correct. People in like rural America. Correct. Um, are, are similar as well. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, for Americans, it's me and my family and then our parents and our siblings, yeah. and then maybe and that's a close it. Me, aunt. You're a maybe, maybe a close aunt, right? Like one, right. Uh, <laughs> and that's about it, <laughs> right? Uh, other than that, you're like, oh, cool, hi, family, but then it's they're not really as important. They're almost strangers sometimes. Yeah, and it does it does obviously simplify a complex, problematic issue. Wouldn't it be wonderful if all of the situations where this happened? had a progressive grandma who realized something and had a massive worldview change in the rest of her life. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. And <laughs> the other family members, because the women she was talking to, you could tell there was a semblance of not just they felt like they'd been shamed, but they felt like maybe they were wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe they repented over that and said, I'm sorry, and they all came to the wedding. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, uh, I, that was Hollywoodized, yeah. obviously. Most things in life, the older grandma goes to her grave cursing them for having done something outside of her blessing <laughs> yeah. and but 
the ultimate truth what we'll take away from this and the message it gives, which we love. And he seems, Yushman seems to choose things that always have a social message. Yeah, we, I think probably the Vicky Donner is probably the similar thing mm -hmm. about, um, it's obviously a very different subject. I would have just changed the, um, the trailer because the trailer, at least, maybe it's another loss in translation thing. Right. But it looked like it was supposed to be a laugh out loud. I did think it was going to be that's more of a belly belly. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. It didn't end up being it and that was fine. That's fine. fine. Uh, that's fine. But I would have just changed the trailer to at least be more to what it sure. actually ended up being. Unless, like you said at the outset, unless there's a lot of stuff in there that's peppered throughout that is more funny for Indians because they get the Just like the, the Akshay thing we saw. Exactly. That, the Indians think that film's hilarious and we right. were like, uh, yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> right. What is going on? Why right. do you like this? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but uh, you know, if if that's the case, then that's the case. Uh, it's just lost in translation. Comedy is hard to translate in. Something. Right. Like even it may have been really funny. Like when she said, uh, "I hope the baby you have is going to be a boy, so you can have the Trinity." I knew that was a humorous thing she was saying. But if you grew up in India and maybe you had a grandma that said that, you might find that to be a belly laugh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I also thought it was hilarious that when the mom got in the car. Uh, she said, uh, keep, somebody told her to keep her left leg up. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick up on that. I didn't pick up on that. Something stupid, you know, that, mean, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I but didn't pick up on that. It's, there's little, obviously, stuff that, you know, older generations tell younger generations, like pregnancy, little... Um, old wives' yeah, tales. Old wives' tales. Yeah. Keep your left leg up. Or <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. There was a few other things that I did giggle at. But there was never a belly laugh. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Uh, did you ever belly laugh like out loud? No, I chuckled. Yeah. But I didn't laugh like I did with belly belly. That's why I'm using that as an example. Yeah. That's why I thought it was a more of a family drama with a sprinkle bit of comedy. Yeah, I agree. And um, and uh, all in all, I um, I as I said at the outset, I really I really enjoyed the yeah. movie, and I find the. Uh, uh, the, the the overall message, there's several, but the one in here of, I really hope, I remember when we were watching and reacting to Game of Thrones, mm. people were astonished that I was watching Game of Thrones with my kids. And I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, I want my kids to have a great sex life. Yeah. We're not prudes. We don't mind watching a sex scene. Mm -hmm. I really, I'm sorry for any of you who grow up in our living in families and homes where, where sex is, is considered taboo or shamed. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope that that can change for a lot of people who are living in atmospheres like that. You can't necessarily change the older generations a lot of the time because they're already, they know that they know that they know. But uh, sex is a gift that I, uh, I wish more people could be comfortable to, especially, especially parents with their kids, mm -hmm. you know? Not that you have to talk about your sex life with your kid. There are some things that you need to keep behind the door. You weren't saying have sex with your kid. Yeah, no, that's frowned on in many places. <laughs> uh, but to to be, you know, I've always said this. I want my kids to have wonderful, blessed, happy sex lives. And I know they want the same for me. We don't talk about our sex lives. But it's probably for the best. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, I don't... I don't I mean, you, know, I, you, you, there's, you really shouldn't be talking to anybody about your sex life except... Person you're having sex with. Oh, no. Sorry. Not that person. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, let us know which next uh, Ayushman Karana film we should watch. I know he has a bunch that we've yet to get to. And any of the, any of the yeah. other four cast members we All talked about. All the cast was great. Yeah. There was, there was not a weak link. I, I believed everybody. Yep. Me too. Um, so that was great. Let us know which next film we should watch. Once again, there's a Hindi playlist, there's a Malo Mal Malayalam playlist. Yeah, uh, Telugu, Tamil, Bengali, uh, Bengali, all the ones that we've gotten to. So Assamese. Far. Yeah, there is a playlist uh, of reviews, so you can go check those out. Let me know what you thought about the film down below, and um, think about Rick having sex.